Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. How to infuriate, how to really get back at a narcissist. This person has strung you along. They have, it's been all about them. They have just flaunted their gifts. They have flaunted their talents. They make it seem like they are God's gift to earth. They are just so bigger than life. Um, I mean, they are the headlines. They are what what their what your whole uh, friendship circle is all about or even if you're just in an intimate relationship with them they think that they are just the sex bomb and they are you know the one with all of the appeal you don't you don't really have any desirable qualities um, you know if anything you don't really stack up I mean you do that's why they're you're with them <laughs> so but they they would love to have you believe that they would love to be able to push your buttons and they would love to punish you with basically flaunting their all their quote unquote um, gifts and their talents that make them so supreme and so special to you, so that they can basically take up all of your uh, focus, they can take up all of your time, all of your attention, and they will go to whatever lengths is really required. So you know, you've you've kind of sussed this out, you've kind of figured it out. This person is just getting a little bit too soul-sucking for me. Yet, I kind of feel like I should stick around them. I mean, I've known them for so long. They're kind of like the king of our, of our group. Or, you know, I kind of feel like I'm getting something out of being with them. I mean, I, I'm able to be, uh, they're able to be like a spokesperson for me. Or they're able to, you know, uh, you know be a companion for me. You know, the, the price that you're paying emotionally is not worth the reward for staying with them. So how do you really infuriate them? How do you really just start to shake them off like the flea that they are? I mean, for one, you know, you have to get them where, they, where it hurts. And you have to be a little bit bold and you have to be a little bit out of character. And you have to get the confidence up in yourself and know that you're a great person know that you have a lot to offer and that you are not looking through life through their lens you're looking through life through your own lens in other words um you know how do you really kind of criticize them well for one you know you don't respond to their uh their texts you don't respond to their phone calls you don't respond to their uh fancy um invites for their parties um maybe their work functions you know, a lot of these narcissists, they have certain um, personality types. For example, they might be a financier, or they might be an artist, or they might be a musician. And they make you feel like, you know, you have to be like a groupie, you know, which is not the case. I mean, you should, you know, and they might make statements to you like, well, how does it feel to be, you know, around all these musicians, you know, in kind of a condescending tone, or, you know, how, how does it feel to, you know, just be observing um, this or that? Or, you know, how come you can't play, you know, like this and this? It, it's good at least to be able to play first base and you can't play pitcher. I mean, they'll just make these sort of comments to you. So how do you really infuriate them? Well, for one, you know, if you're still in contact with them, I would definitely recommend, you know, you hit them where it hurts. You start making kind of a little bit off off uh, character or off uh, color uh, comments to them. So I'm not suggesting at all that you stoop down to their level. That is absolutely positively not the uh, goal. You do not want to stoop to their level. You want to rise above. You want to raise your standards up and you don't want to kind of fall into their trap because they create kind of a trap with um, a lot of their uh, crazy making, um, a lot of their uh, self-promoting behaviors especially you know the musicians um, etc and you feel like well if this has been you know your group and you still want to kind of be in the group how do you kind of knock them down a level so you can still kind of relate how do you kind of get them a little bit below the knees so that you know you're, you're kind of getting them where they belong a lot of them really do have some insecurities you know especially if they're super short you know they'll you know, you're taller than me, you can't wear these high heels, or little things like that, little comments that they make. And, you know, you can just, just make kind of like offhanded comments that are done in a rhetorical manner. You know, where you, you know, I just, 
I don't want to say play on their insecurities, but just, you know, make one or two comments, you know, that, you know, you have what it takes and it's not all about them. And, you know, and they aren't, you know, perfect and they are not meant to just be on a pedestal and, you know, riding on their high horse. I mean, you can even just make a joke out of it. I would say make it light, but let it come from insight. And it's just like, you know, cowboys really do sit on their high horse, don't they? You know, or, I mean, if you need to make one comment before you really go for the do not contact, you know, just let them know, you know, that they're not as a big shot as you think that they are. Um, if that would make you feel better or at least help you feel like you've communicated that you see through, you see through the veneer, you see through the mask, you know them. I mean, I would definitely advise not being in no contact, but if you have to positively be in contact with them, I mean, if you work in the same office or if you live in a town where there's only 200 people, I mean, you know, they might be in, in that area and you can't get away from them. Or if they're in your family, we definitely not recommend starting up any sort of fight, any sort of competitive thing. And I would number one, recommend this. Do not feel like you have to explain and justify yourself. Oh, so you got this new pair of shoes? Yes. Oh, so you got that purse? Yes. Oh, so you're reading that book. What is that book about? It's very interesting. Um, oh, so, you know, uh, so you're planning a, a vacation, huh? Yes. Do not explain and do not justify yourself because that is a continual combative um, sort of uh, pattern that you tend to maintain with a narcissist or with a psychopathic type person. So do not explain and justify yourself. Yes, I'm taking this job because. Yes, I'm doing this because. Um, yes, I want to go here because. Stop justifying yourself. Stop explaining yourself. You deserve what you deserve. You want what you want. You earn what you earn. You go where you need to go. All these things are, are part of you living your life, but the narcissist, you know, um, tend, will, will tend to make you believe, like, you're living your life? Well, isn't that good? I mean, it's just the, the comments that they make are absolutely spellbounding. And unfortunately, they, they do make this, those type of comments. Um, oh, good, you're getting out? Um, you know, oh, wow, so you really did go see a movie. That's great. I mean, you know, they, they do it in such a condescending tone. Stop explaining and justifying yourself and just do and just have and just be and just um, goal orientate yourself and just do it without needs to uh, satisfy them, get their approval, get their feedback. You don't do it for any of those reasons. You live your life to live your life and manifest the glory that you're meant to in this life. It's That's what it is. You do not need to explain it to them because they're going to come back with a reason why it's not good enough. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Please share, please subscribe, um, and, and help people who are in need, giving them the support. Have a beautiful day. Love you.